Welcome to Outwit Images, your all-in-one image browser, downloader, and slideshow creator that allows you to share your images with other users. Today's tutorial will cover the basic features of Outwit Images. For tutorial on how to install Outwit Images, please consult the tutorial page in the blog section of Outwit.com. To launch Outwit Images, click the W icon in the Firefox 3 browser. Images will load the current page from the browser, and the images are displayed in thumbnails. Although it displays the images in thumbnails, it also finds the high-resolution photo behind the thumbnail. To view the high-res image, click on the thumbnail. Depending on the size of the photo, it could take a second to load. At the bottom of the image, there is a plus sign, and when I click this, I can view the full screen image. Another way to view the photos is to click the slideshow icon. At the bottom of the screen, I can see various information pertaining to the slideshow. This includes the speed of the slideshow, which I am now changing by pressing the up-down arrow keys. I can also navigate through the images by pressing the left-right arrow keys, as I am doing now. I went to get the high-res photos from my favorite wallpaper site. I type the URL in the address bar and the images start loading in my exploration panel. I can also explore web images by entering a query in the search box next to the address bar. I can see that not all of the photos that are downloading are the high-res photos that I desire. To fix this, I'll turn off Auto Explore so the pages will stop loading. I'll take a quick look at the size of my images, then go to the Options panel to set the criteria for the minimum size of the images. In the Options panel, there are a wealth of options available at my disposal. I can change the color of outward images, set the minimum size of the images to be displayed, change the number of rows, and align the thumbnails vertically. There are also criteria for the slideshow, auto-catching, and this is where I can designate where the images are saved. Clicking Reset will restore all the default settings. I'm happy with my selection, so I can click OK. I've set the minimum criteria, so now I can click Reload, then activate Auto Explore. Auto Explore will navigate through all the pages in a series until it reaches the end. This is a great way to download hundreds of images in just a few clicks. I'm quite happy with these pictures, so I'm going to catch them for later use. The catch is your collection basket, and there are various methods for moving images into the catch. Clicking Auto Catch will automatically move all images into the catch when auto exploring. I can see in the information box at the bottom of the screen how many images are displayed and how many have been caught. I see that the numbers of images displayed does not match the number of images in the catch. This is because I selected Auto Catch after I had initiated Auto Explore. I have two options for moving the images into the catch. The first is to drag and drop the images. The second is to click Catch All Matches, which will move all displayed images that match the criteria from the Options panel into the catch. To view these photos, I have many options for scrolling through them. To slowly scroll through, I can click the mouse button, then move it from side to side. To scroll faster, I can use the roller bar on the mouse, like so. The bottom of the exploration panel is the scroll bar that I can use to navigate through the photos. Or, I can simply click the left or right hand side of the screen. I've collected all the pictures that I want, so now I'm going to save them. I could have selected Auto Save, which automatically saves all the pictures that are moved into the catch. Since I did not choose that option, I am going to select Save Catch Images, which saves all the catch photos as individual images. Saving the images could take a while depending on the amount and the size of photos. Please make sure that you have enough room on your hard disk before saving the images. There are other catch options at my disposal, including Play the Catch, which will display a slideshow of all the images in my catch. I like what I see, so I can press Escape to exit the slideshow before reaching the end. I can also empty the catch, which removes all images from inside my catch. Outwit Images displays a warning message asking if this is really what I want to do. Please note that any unsaved images will be lost by clicking OK. I've already saved my images, and I'm sure that I want to empty the catch, so I can click OK. I am finished working with these photos, and now I want to view a catch file sent to me by a friend containing their vacation photos. I can select Load a Catch File from the File menu and open the file. 
At the bottom, you can see my catch loading, which may take a second depending on the size. A catch file is a directory containing the source information for the images in the catch. They have a relatively small size and can easily be shared with other users. To view these images, I can change the view by selecting catch in the drop down menu. These are really beautiful photos, so I'm going to save them. I can save a single image by selecting save image or save image in. I want to save them all, so I'm going to select Save Web Images In, which will save all the images displayed in my exploration panel. Again, be sure that there's enough space on the hard disk before saving the images. This concludes today's tutorial, and as always, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please do not hesitate to contact us via the suggestion form on the feedback menu. We couldn't do this without you.